Welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Now, today we are going to revisit a video that I've done, I suppose, about two years ago. Uh, now, we are going to talk about push sticks. Now, everyone knows that safety and everything else on a video is not really what people want to hear. But what I'm trying to do here is tell you all the different designs of the uh, push sticks that I've got um, up against other designs and we're seeing about the pros and cons of using each one. Uh, now I've got several versions of, of the push sticks here. Um, I have the normal uh, wand or spatula type that I've got to say that I'm not really a fan of uh, so to be honest with you, I don't like these um, purely because you're, you're holding them sort of like out there somewhere and it, it, it you know, I'm I not really have control over those, over those. So, you know, uh, it's not really my thing, I've got to say. It might help, it might, you know, benefit other people. People might like them, but I'm not a fan of the things. But I really particularly like the more traditional um, style of push sticks, uh, like this one, um, that you can see uh, has a good handle here, has a, a piece on the front here that pushes it down, so you're pushing the front of it down, plus it has the notch in the back here. Now, anyone who's a woodworker or works in industry or something like that, knows that a push stick is basically a piece of wood with a notch in it. And all of these push sticks here are no, not know anything different from whatever they are. They all have notches in them at some point. Now, this one here is got a notch in there and it also has a notch there. Now, people, you know, I'll bring it up a little bit closer so people can see it, and you can also see that I've gone along it with the old uh, band saw, well, the, the actual uh, table saw. Um, but here, you have a handle just here, and it has the notch just here, so you're pushing against the piece of wood there. But if you was to pick it up that way, like that, you still have a notch there. So this one is universal. This is what they call the boomerang type. And this one up here is no different either. This is a uh, bigger version of that, the, of the boomerang type. This over here is what I call the triangle, and these are not dissimilar from the boomerang type um, that, that we have. Uh, the, if it doesn't matter how you pick them up, and I will put a vid quick video up there so you can actually see that, um, that uh, you can have pick them up it doesn't matter how you pick them up you still got that notch in the back here that uh, suffices for your I'll get this bit of wood that help you out a bit better uh, you still got that notch there and if I turn it over that way you still got a notch there so it doesn't matter how you pick this one up you'll be able to use it now I have other ones here as well. I have this little tiny one here and I use this for quite small pieces uh, as you can see it's but you you don't kind of pick it up and use it try and use it like that you use it like that so as you're as you're using it you push it that way but you're still pushing down on the front but you're pushing it at the back to push it through your saw. Now you saw at the start, when I moved it out of the way, I also have this one. Now, this one here is, well, what can I say? It's, it has got the notch just the same, but it's also got the handles at the side. Now, this one I use on the router table. Now, imagine that your, that your uh, router bit is whirling around here, and you're trying to push this bit of wood through your router bit. What you'll do here is you'll slide this along. You're pushing, you're pushing this 
against your fence, plus you're also pushing it along. But you got your hands back here somewhere out of the way. So that's the reason why I've designed that one. Now, all of these uh, push sticks that I have here, they are all available to download on the my 3D um, warehouse SketchUp site. Now, anyone is very uh, welcome to actually look at that, um, download them and anything else, and I'll post a link for the uh, 3D site in the description down below. So let's have a good, quick look about each one of these um, sticks in uh, succession. The small and large triangle type. The same goes for this one. Uh, this is the triangle type and you, you can do this exactly the same. Push it against there and push it against the, the fence and the uh, pushing the wood along and your hand is pretty well away from the blade. The traditional push stick type. Here we are with the traditional style of push stick. Now, I find this is much, much more controlled than having like the spatula type like you saw earlier. Now, I, I usually find that as you're pushing this through, you actually put in pressure on the front here and you're also pushing it through the back here because of the natural angle of the handle that's just here. So you'll be pushing down as well as pushing it along. So as you're pushing it through, you're pushing it through the blade and pushing it through nice and straight. Now, if you find that it, you, you, your bit of wood forces you out a little bit, you can also, I'll, I'll do this a little bit of exaggeration, but you'll get what I'm meaning. Uh, you'll be able to move that piece of wood, um, the push stick across at an angle like you see there. So you're actually pushing it against your fence. As you're pushing it along, you're pushing it against your fence. Now you don't I'll say you have to do extreme angles like I just got it there, but you can move you can put it in there and you can put put it at a slight angle so as you push it through it stays against the fence all the way through the cut and that's more safer way of doing it well that's what i find anyway a lot of people's mileage might be different but my, that's how mine works out and the spatulas now here we are with the traditional wand type. Now I'll show you one of the reasons why I don't like using these wand or spatula type uh, push sticks. They do their job and a lot of people like them, but I'm not a fan of them. Because when you're pushing your wood through, say like you're pushing your wood through here, what tends to happen is that it glides off. It actually pushes it away from the offence. Now, to combat that, a lot of people use two. They have a second one. Here's the second one. They usually put a second one on here to hold that through. Now, what they do is they go through like that. Uh, but when you get to here, because you're trying to hold it against the fence in the middle of the blade, there'll be the blade coming through there. So I find that if you tend to do that, you'll still end up pushing the wood away from the fence. Not a good idea. This is why I'm not a fan of these. Now, you've seen all of those. We will uh, end this video. And all I can say is that um, thank you for everyone who subscribed to my channel. And I hope to get some more videos out to uh, everyone this you know watched and everything else but I in all I was subscribed 
I do hope that everyone can uh, appreciate it in our times that we're in at the moment that things aren't, you know, working according to plan. Um, so, uh, but I thank everyone anyway. And if you want to uh, contact me on any of the social media sites, you know where all the links are. They're coming across here somewhere. Here they go. And anyone wants to contact me on those. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll leave my email address somewhere around here as well. And I will see you all next time on the channel. Bye-bye.